Then this homo in the over, she don't talk to him. That you call it? It's <laughs> homo, homo starving for conversation with Richie, dude. Probably still trying to talk to me while I'm on this key. Don't this homo know I don't talk to fags? And you're gonna see it just like with the American. You unwrap it, brand new in the box. I got a new surprise. Come on. Anyway, let me get my last cup of java. Starving for conversation with Richie. This time I Johnny, I had him, but you know, I couldn't tell he was there. In other words, I, I mean, I know he was there, but I couldn't make out his word. You know what I mean? You know that noise, and the noise of somebody, you know. So I, you know, I, I, I knew his, I knew when he was transmitting, I couldn't pull his verb. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's far from there, man. That's a I don't know how far it is, but it's pretty, it says he's west of Philadelphia. So, uh, that's out there. Roger. When I, when I hike this thing up another 10 feet, man, that signal should have been audible, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I used to have him in there. I just, uh, sometimes, well, I guess when I was moving around, it was enough to have a conversation, but then he dropped out in a low spot, I couldn't hear shit, so... Yeah, he's running a little something. High power radio, some nice height. I didn't have him at first. I thought you were ghost talking. But then I put on the preamp and, um, you know, I, I could tell somebody was there. I could tell when they were keying up. But I couldn't make out their words. Roger. No audio, Ruben. No audio. Little humming and buzzing. Check all the wires, Ruben. Power wires. Coax connectors. Yeah, just a little side bump. Yeah, I figured out. I don't do any ghost talk on the G side. If I'm talking to somebody there, they're definitely there. Roger. Roger on that, Johnny. Wow, no, nah, that's, that's too hard on my little 455. Let me get that back there. Where you been? Come on, man. Get your shit together. You're supposed to be a ham operator. Come on. You should know what you do. You can't figure out how to get this shit out. How are you going to use the other stuff? Johnny, I'm starting a new little uh, tiny project. It's a funny one, though. I got this big water jug, right? And every time somebody repeats themselves, anybody, you know, anytime I hear somebody repeating themselves or saying the same thing over and over, when I catch that, I'm going to put a dollar in this uh, thing over there. And this is all just to buy video gate font shit, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to call it the repeat jar. 
and uh, each week I'm, I'm going to video game what that draw looks like. This is going to be hilarious, dude. <laughs> Listen, listen to me. Yo, something tells me, something tells me I'm going to be sticking IOU slips in the jaw. Because I know there's going to be a couple of days that's going to wind up breaking me, you know what I mean? Nobody that good in a month. Yeah, you ain't going to be able to fit any more money in there after a week. You ain't got to stuff it in. You know, only my dopey soon to be father-in-law could think of something like that. You're going to have to start stuffing the money in there, man. It's going to fill up quick. Bro, I'm just... And you across the water. Like I said, if the chairs say asshole and asshole junior on the set, we are going to have a problem. <laughs> uh, I don't know nobody but you. I hear all of you. I see nobody else out there. Good morning, how are you? Uh, I got you some audio on this thing. Maybe today my uh, connector will come. My adapter should be here today. Modulated. I thought that was a. Uh... I thought that was my thing to be around here. I thought overmodulated was my field of expertise. blows units and anodes and I questioned why and he said to me because of the shielding the lousy 88% that it is it causes SWR fluctuations that's what I asked and he said to me he goes there's not enough ground there to handle the load. So the SWR eventually goes up point uh, as high as point eight. So if you're running, if you're running one five or one four and you start modulating, you're putting two one stress on them and nodes. I said, did you see any of my videos? He said, I, I seen the ones you made with the unit. I said, I said, look at my SWR. He goes, yeah. He goes, that's kind of nifty, man. He goes, in all my years building these things, he goes, I never seen a needle sit under my red bar. He goes, how'd you do that? I said, I got a special multiple. And then I gave him the title of a book. And I told him, go check this out. And he says, you know something, Richie? You learn something brand new every day. He said, I'm going to use that formula in my calculations for my runs in the units, see what's up with that. I said, well, never failed me yet. 
same on it. Hey, well, you can wear some new every day. That's the whole reason we know the good people out there today. Some new every day. Even if you're a fucking lady or a man, you can learn something new. Hey, what thing? Roger, right on. All right, well, you, 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 you know what, Johnny? Johnny, I hear a bunch of good people in the Bronx. I do hear a bunch of good people in the Bronx. I hear you, and uh, I'm talking to you. I hear them guys on the other end talking, and I desperately hear somebody begging for uh, other people out here to talk to. I don't know. I hear a conversation on one end of my gate. I hear a conversation on the other end of my gate, and then I hear a funky monkey in the middle striving for the king's affection. I don't know, man. Sometimes you got to love my video gates for what they hold and show and prove. The meat, the juice in them, the meat they capture. Well, that's what happens when you, when you become a, uh, somebody that nobody else. Oh, yeah, you can have things with you tomorrow. tomorrow. Come right. You can be nice and chilly out there. Yeah, Roger, right on. Yeah, you better believe that. That's what happens when you make yourself the cat that nobody wants to talk to. But, but I will tell you this, man. Me, uh, the people say, what's the matter with you, Richie? They go, summertime, we don't see you. He goes, it's brutal out here. And you got the big grin on your face dancing around like it don't bother you. I said, yeah, I come alive in this kind of shit, dude. I said, this is the kind of shit that separates the men from the boys. The mouse from the men. Tevo. That's all the most sir. It just doesn't Lord have mercy. Seven, eight hours a day outside, you can work on the ship. But March is a good, a good month. March of 26. Does anybody know who this junkie is talking to? Nice video. You can check out it. Does anybody know who this junkie's talking to? 2016. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to surprise the junkie. No more five pounds to your hand. Well, you're lucky, dude. You're lucky. I feel sorry for the cats in the Bronx. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, there's a conversation going down on in the Bronx. There's one going on between Brooklyn and Staten Island. And then you get some junkie in Manhattan who wants attention. Who just wants to make a noise. Wants to be part of the in crowd. Well, you know, ain't no problem being part of the in crowd out here. You just got to have a manhood. You can't demonstrate a manhood. That's your problem. You can't find anybody who wants to talk to you. That's your problem. If uh, you want to come out here and act like the the, the chicken band clown and uh, think you're just going to start trouble all over the band and uh, <laughs> think everybody's going to forget about it like it's water under the bridge, well, I would call that major psychosis. But anyway, Johnny Ryan, I'm going to take a pause for the course. I'm going to go load this coffee jug, puff the rest of this hell, come back and see what James. It's not talking about him, it's just... Having a conversation, throw some stuff out there and right away. Hey, Johnny, he say he's having a conversation. Sound like he ghost talking more than anything. But, on drug addiction, that's on homosexuality. I think all three combines why the stuff boys are loving the important. Lord of mercy. I really pray for the cat, I really do. He's very much trying to do me like I did him on the blast tip. See, I got to his conscience, dude. I pointed out so well, I got so much of it captured. <laughs> it's undeniable. So what you tell Rich, he needs to, uh, he need to come clean. And uh, whoever it is he's talking to, uh, you know, he's begging them to uh, tell me something. Let's see about that. The cat's out there talking to Mr. 250. Do you have something you want to tell me for him? Or, uh, this a little more ghost talk? The unwrapping of 2016 is coming. 2016 is going to be a new era. And martial law will be in effect. If a certain individual start acting up. And like I said, don't start no shit, there'll be no shit. That's always been my motto. Hey, Johnny, the repeat jaw just got three hits in this one video. Uh, audio. 
A.O. Johnny. To repeat y'all, just got three hits in this one video. All right, man. Let me go over this coffee cup, Johnny. And uh, I shall be right back. Yeah, I just feel like that. You know you don't hear Johnny when I got this five wall more about. There's no way you hear Johnny. But uh, you can go talk it all this. But like I said, the unwrapping. Well, Johnny, there's somebody in my video gate who swears that I cannot hear your audio or make out what you're saying out here while he's talking. So it's very obvious he was not talking to anybody in the gate at all. He was just trying to get over you and trying to have a conversation with me. Now, I don't know who would want to come out here and beg for uh, people out here and then want to have a conversation with a man who was uh, not talking to him at all. All right, I'm going to go on the side right over here. I know uh, my antenna must be a little damp. I'm trying to deload it. I'm trying to deload. I have a video page or not a YouTube account. You see? I don't do none of that. You don't see me putting out videos. Hey, you know what? Hey, Johnny, I think he's crying a blues or somebody about him not having a video game channel because it would capture all his lies itself. I think that's what it's all about right here. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. And I ain't got to wait till March. You know, it's, uh, it's a bad combination. It's very toxic. See, see, uh... I swear to God, this dude is in a conversation with me, Johnny. Johnny, this has got to be one of the funniest video games in the world. This is not Parker. In a conversation with me, dude. That's why I always emphasize that he takes his medicine. This is hardcore drugs, dude. I mean, this is hardcore drugs. If anybody in New York City could tell me something different and prove to me otherwise, please do. Because to me, this is just straight up hardcore drugs at work. I don't know, bro. This is worse than cocaine damage. I mean, judging by the monotone of the voice and the lowness of the voice and the melancholy uh, throw off, I'm inclined to believe you that it's full crash mode. But there's something wrong with this cat. What's his name? Enforcer 250? <laughs> There's something wrong with it, dude, man. The force of truth and justice, the American way. And don't forget, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen out there, and the audience out there, the, and the inquiring mind, don't forget to check out those latest videos. The hole that just got filled, followed by the pine box. And uh, I will be... All right, so we just found out that we're all right. He's not talking to nobody at all. He's talking to uh, anybody and everybody that can hear his voice. He's a commercial, dude. He's trying to be a commercial in the mix. This is one funny video gate. I might have to call a commercial break. But then all his crybabyism might come up under it. You know what? That's a good idea. I'm going to title it Commercial Break. Audio, I don't know. I, I wonder how the rookies on uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I wonder how the academy feels right now with a, with, a, with a right side meter listening to a stone cold junkie. I don't know. I wonder what they're training the cadets with, uh, what they're saying to them while they got this clown in the ear. I, I, <laughs> I got to push up for some, uh, some chub footage. Well, take care of things. Uh, I'll leave 
that I've got. I won't uh, elaborate on that But, uh, you know, as long as you can take this measure, CPI is something back in, and that's it. I'm being now. It'll be all right. As long as I can take it. Roger, right on, Johnny. Well, I don't know. He might have spun the, the knob a little bit on the RF power because uh, I'm having a little hard time making you out now through it. Either that or uh, somebody in the Bronx is taking him out as well. I guess we're shutting him off on both ends. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's being squashed. You're not hurting the Bronx, Crutcher. You're definitely not hurting the Bronx when I keep it. Five, one, one. Hey, Sugarfoot! <laughs> All right, all right. He's got you covered up, Foot. Foot, he's got you covered up. I just wanted to know for the gate. You gotta remember, it's not how much you have it, but how you use it. It's knowledge and superior equipment. I can't believe how he came out here this morning. This is an awesome video gate, and I mean awesome. Just ask anyone after the night. I'd, I'd like to know, uh, oh, that's right, the public, the audience, the audience out here. Well, to be honest with you, the only audience that's out here is the Richie Radio audience. And uh, they don't even watch you anymore. They're tired of hearing me clown you, as their hits will reflect. The Richie Radio audience don't even like you anymore. But, uh, hey, Johnny, I'm dying for this coffee. Dying for this Al, and this has been the most interesting 21 minute and 50 second video game ever made. Sugarfoot, thank you for that confirmation. I'm back in the hole. Right over that crackhead. But, you know, like I said, I'm not here to demean anyone or put anyone down, but I like to speak the truth. Oh, uh, hey, he still insisted I was crackhead, so I just crack him upside his head. And I back out. Good morning, Ruben. Yeah, Ruben, you got us all straight now, right now, Ruben. It's good now. You got it good, Ruben, around the Big Apple. Hey, thank you there. New year and everything. You know how it is. We haven't been on in a while, but who knows? You got it good around the lower deck, Ruben. Hey, Ruben, you got it good around the lower deck. 250 said that. 250 and everybody on frequency. Okay, thank you very much.